Next up, PayPal completes GoPay acquisition, only payments platform to enter China. And that's the whole thing. There's, I mean, I could read the whole article, but it's the same thing like 10 times. So this is interesting, interesting to me because uh, China is kind of anti-crypto. Let's just be honest. I mean, they're, they're, they're pro-miner and they're pro-blockchain, but uh, they are not all about cryptocurrency because it competes directly with their digital yuan. So the thing that I wonder here is that if PayPal is going to be in there, I wonder if there are going to be stipulations against them where you can say, PayPal, you can come in, but you better not sell Bitcoin, Bitcoin Cash, Ethereum, or Litecoin, or anything else that you want to put on there to our citizens because we have total power. We are a communist country, and that's just how you're going to do it. It doesn't say anything about that in this entire article, which is kind of a bummer. So we are, we are led to speculation. However, I will say this. Uh, China, um, as some subscribers have told me, is an all-powering uh, entity, and they pretty much control a lot everything uh, over there. It's uh, it's uh, pretty much locked down. And they've locked it so, so much down. I don't know if you know about this, this guy, Jack Ma. He's the founder of uh, Alibaba multi-multi-billionaire, and they made him disappear like that. And the reason was, is because he gave a speech where it was pretty much anti-Chinese government, and all of a sudden, gone. <laughs> just disappeared uh, for two months. And uh, I just want to just go over this little piece real quick that this is how powerful China is. Uh, this guy's multi-billionaire. I mean, does whatever he wants, except in China. And uh, insiders told the Post it's highly unlikely that Ma 56 has been permanently disappeared to one of China's feared black sites reserved for the country's dissidents, nor is he in Singapore, per some rumors. So I didn't know there was like black sites. Uh, but it stands the reason because it is China. So when people complain about uh, America here and there, remember where you're living uh, because there's a lot worse places. Instead, he's probably cooling his heels either at home or in a very cushy location where one expert said he may be reviewing Marxist lessons with party officials, a process called embracing supervision. Again, had no idea about that. Now you know, and now you can't unknow that. Today's financial system is the legacy of the, of the industrial age, Ma declared in the now infamous speech. That's what I was talking about that uh, pretty much poo-pooed all over the Chinese government. He states, we must set up uh, a new one for the next generation and young people. We must reform the current system. Ma's wings were abruptly clipped. He vanished from the public eye. Ant's IPO, that is his, his company, his uh, initial public offering, was canceled reportedly at the behest of the Chinese president, Xi Jinping. And China has launched an antitrust po probe into Ma's enormous company. Basically, they're making an example of this guy like, you got too big too fast and we're going to bust you down. Now, antitrust laws are also coming for uh, Facebook and Instagram, oh, well, their subsidiary, Instagram, and also WhatsApp. So it's like it's like that doesn't happen. But to make somebody just like disappear and start to embrace, you know, uh, black sites and all that, that's crazy. So when we talk about uh, PayPal going over there, I'm like, at first, I it sounds awesome, but I just don't think they're going to allow cryptocurrency. Let me know what you think in the comments section. Let's move on to our last piece.